Hello again. So why did I become a practitioner in the Mayer Schneider method? Originally, I was a client of Mayer's. I had optic nerve atrophy and some strong glasses. I got rid of the glasses and improved the optic nerve atrophy over the years. And then eventually I wanted to be able to help other people. So I did the formal training, including apprenticeship hours in order to be able to help other people. And these tend to be the two reasons that people do the trainings, either to intensively work on their own condition or to help other people. It, it, oftentimes it's both. So when you do the training, you're, you're going to learn anatomy, you're going to learn about conditions, you're going to learn the exercises that address those conditions. But in doing so, you're also going to bring your own experience into the training. In my case, I was uh, a longtime meditator and, and teacher of meditation. And so I brought in meditation and the mind into, into Mayer's trainings. And the reason I bring this up is um, to, to share an experience I had on my vision retreat uh, in the last couple days. So I've been, in, in my particular condition, I have a large blind spot in my left eye that's a result of the optic nerve atrophy. So I will block, obstruct with these glasses, my right eye, which is the better of the two eyes. And I, I wear this around and I go for walks. It's part of my vision retreat. It's forcing me to use the left eye, which has this large blind spot in it. So I noticed that when, and, and this has always happened to me with this exercise, when I take the glasses off, I see much better much sharper, um, which is wonderful. But one of the things I noticed was the obstruction of the mind. It's the obstruction of the glasses, and then I'm dealing with the obstruction of my mind. So when I start to see clearer, one of the things that gets in the way for me is I look at, say, some letters there, and I'm like, whoa, I can kind of read those. And, and in my, it's my actual attitude towards my vision, the mental block about what I can see that gets in the way at that point. Um, I'm pleased on one level to be able to see that clearly. On another level, I have to fight past the mental block that says, you don't see anything that small. You cannot see that small. Um, so those are the kind of things that I, I bring more to his method, is the idea of it's a physical it's a physical exercise we're doing but it's also reflected in the mind in the obstruction of the mind anyway so that's what i'm doing on my retreat um, i hope this helps you um, understand a little bit more about the method and the training